can't leave home without uh, the good old coffee. Good coffee. Life's too short for bad coffee. One of the big tricks or issues then taking off from a, a bush strip is you've got to watch for animals. That's really a beautiful uh, strip, but you also got to keep your wits about you because these animals just run uh, across the runway. Well, whilst flying, I'm always looking for uh, breaches in the fence, uh, suspicious looking vehicles, obviously people. Uh, it's very easy to spot people running or walking from this altitude. That is what makes uh, this waking up so early worth it, is uh, you get to enjoy that uh, whilst doing something positive. So <laughs> it's a good way to start the day, I encourage it. Get up early and look at the sunrise, it just puts you in a good mood. It's really nature's little elixir. Uh, the beauty about flying an aeroplane like this is that it's a fraction of the cost of a helicopter. And this is why they've become very, very popular for this kind of activities, you know, animal tracking, anti-poaching. All right, so... The flying is out the way, unfortunately. <laughs> I can sit there flying all day. But uh, now it's time to get to the sanctuary. Um, and today I am going to be filming for my YouTube channel. My traffic jam on my way to work. <laughs> Hello, pretty. Yeah, you're very pretty. my flying boots <laughs> now it's time to put on my work boots but I'm really um, excited today I've just received these from Craig Hoppers the Adflex boot um, it's waterproof which is fantastic it's got the the nozzy life um, anti-insect uh, technology so you don't get bitten by the bugs but actually the 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 best quality about these new products is their their environmental awareness, their sustainability. Um, this product's made of 7% plastic bottles and then 3% of uh, marine trash. Basically, all that trash that we see in the ocean is 3% of that in here. I'm really, really keen to see how these boots fare uh, amongst the lions. All right, so I'm just prepping my gear. Most people think I've got a camera crew with me when I shoot but actually it's just me one man band the biggest factor here is that I can't have a cameraman following me because obviously there's the lions and they're not going to take too kindly to a guy in their group they only really are friendly with who they know ready to rock and roll ready to go and film some lions okay we've now come to the sanctuary we've set up cameras we're going to go and check on the animals as well as move some around we're going to take some animals for a walk that's just one morning, <laughs> so quite busy. Hello, my boy. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna go. Hey, a new camp. Hello, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> Very specific loading order. Ginny first. Ow. Then Livy. Yeah, Liv. Liv. Okay. And then finally, big boy. In theory. As easy as that. Three lions in, ready to move to their new enclosure, their new camp, new smells and new stimulations. Cool. 
catch five. Yay! Tensions are running high. Don't be like that. Come. Yep. And you? Okay, and you? So my A camera, which is the camera I'm talking to, has a little Bietzi nose print on the lens. And this is what I really love about functional clothing. Over there is a glasses wipe. And so I just give a little bit of spit and a glasses wipe. And the lens is as good as new. Um, next up is Meg and Icky. The lovebirds. They love being together. They're always in close proximity. Meg is almost 20 years old. The curse is 18. We just decided that an arranged marriage was the order of the day. I mean, look at that proximity. Eh? I'd say that that's a happy married couple. Come here. That's a good boy. Certainly get my steps in in a day. Need comfortable shoes, and I must say these these ad flexes are super super comfy. Yeah. Funny cat. Two down, one to go. And we're just gonna load George and Yummy, and then we can take them for a walk. So a common question, fast fact. I've been doing this almost um, two and a half decades now. So almost 25 years, guys. I've been working very closely with the lions. It's a, a job that you need lots and lots of energy and passion for, lots of commitment and lots of perseverance. So basically what the walk is about is just to let George and Yame uh, have some fun, uh, let them stretch their legs, um, stimulate the brain, uh, but very important for George is exercise. And we're off. Hello boys. Oof, oof. George, yeah, yeah. Oh! <laughs> George has got a lot of energy. George! Good as a boy! Isn't it just so cool to see them having such a blast? Anyway, they're having a good time out here. And uh, it's really awesome. Uh, to see them having a good time, but obviously when you see the lions having a good time, you also uh, have a good time and it's a knock-on effect. Exercise stimulates endorphins, releases endorphins. Like in humans, the animals now uh, have those endorphins released. They are feel-good hormones, so the animals feel good after uh, walking around and exercising. Um, I think uh, the, the results speak for themselves. If you walk around the sanctuary, it's, it's a happy place. Most of the animals are very content. I always say, it's just such an honor to be accepted amongst these beautiful, beautiful, majestic animals. Okay, the last step in the equation <laughs> is getting the lions safely back in a camp and uh, shouldn't pose too much of a problem with George and Yame. Careful. Nicely. A good boy. Okay.
Time for coffee. Now, it's about one o'clock. Um, all the lions are fast asleep. It's actually pretty warm outside. Just got uh, news of, of a rhino poaching outside of the reserve. This is hence why we did the flying this morning is to just uh, have that presence in the air. Yeah, maybe it's a better thing if I don't catch up on <laughs> emails <laughs> and on the news. Oh, it's just negative, 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 and uh, had such a positive day. So one of the ways uh, that I actually get away from um, being exposed to this constant um, bombardment, I call it, uh, of people wanting instant answers is um, I like to mountain bike. So exercise is so important. Um, if I'm not waking up early to go and do something specific, I'm waking up early just to meditate, just to be calm. And, and that kind of also segues into the... Um, you know, the product that I, I'm very proud to be associated with, with, with Craig Hoppers. Craig Hoppers has a very um, positive mindset and the product's a mantra of mindfully made fits well in with, with uh, what my ideals um, are. You know, we're constantly evolving to be better and so is the product. Um, and the whole sustainability, the, the, the use of recycled materials in their products, uh, the functionality and sustainability of the products, the, the, the sustainability of the, of, the, um, of the company, of the brand. It's just really, it's great to be associated with a brand that is like that. And notwithstanding the fact, the product is just incredible. My favorite, Nazi Life Adventure shirt. You know, just simple things, the glasses wipe. Um, I've, I've, I use it, it's not just a gimmick. It's something that I use daily, wiping the lenses, this pocket has just got to be one of the most incredible pockets. I mean, I don't know many pockets that can literally fit an entire GoPro with its tripod um, literally inside. I mean, <laughs> look at that and zip it up. I mean, I can literally carry that on me, <laughs> on my chest there while I walk um, out in the bush with the lion. So I love that. And I've never had a lion tear any of my buttons off which generally on button-up tops, it's just a given. The lions are going to get their claw in there and this is going to go pop, 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 pop. But it's got this piece of ribbon which basically runs through the button. So the only way it's really coming off is if the button breaks. Brilliant. I'll be heading out and uh, yeah, it's been a really good morning. I've, I've again had a, a really good time and I hope you have too. This is a day in the life of uh, the Lion Whisperer. <laughs>